Na asante sana mashirima hapa katika kaunti ya Nyeri tunatarajia kwamba Dr. Wahome Gakuru ambaye ndiye gavana atapishwa Jumatatu. Naye pia vile vile alisikika akisema kwamba hataki gharama nyingi katika sherehe ile ya kumwapisha. Na je watu hapa wa Nyeri matarajio yao ni gani? Kwa sababu sasa wana utawala mpya. Ni nini haswa watakachokuwa kitaka kizingatiwa kipewe uzito na kipaumbele kutoka kwa viongozi wapya Gavana wa Dr. Omega Kuru Senator Ifre Maina mwakilishi wa kike Rehab Mokami Mbunge hapa katika eneo hili ni Ngunjiri wa Mbugu na maeneo bunge yote sita ndani ya kaunti ya Nyeri bila shaka wapigaji kura au ndio wenyeji wa Nyeri wana matarajio mengi sana ikizingatiwa kuwa sasa macho yao yanaelekezwa au matumaini yao yanaelekeza katika serikali mpya ya kaunti vile vile serikali mpya au serikali hii ya kitaifa kwa jumla hebu tupate kusikia kutoka kwa wenyeji wenyewe wanatakaje asante sana jina lako ni nani tafadhali naitwa Robert Mudhui mkazi um, wa kaunti ya Nyeri matarajio yetu ni mengi hasa kwa governor ambaye tungependa kwanza aendeleze kazi mzuri ambayo ilikuwa imeanzwa imeanzishwa na Gachagua na we want very 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 sound management of our resources starting with the money uh, we want uh, agriculture mambo ya kahawa ambayo ni mainstay ya Kinyeri iwekewe kipawa mbele kwa sababu eh bwana Gachagua alijaribu lakini uh, haikuenda vizuri akaogopa tunataka uh, daktari Gakuru atoe 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 eh, uoga wowote na shike hii kitu ya kahawa kwa makini kabisa naona umeshikilia sana hapo kwa kahawa wewe ni mkulima wa kahawa ndio lakini tulingoa kahawa ulingoa wewe ndio kwa nini kwa sababu eh, ilikuwa eh, ma, ma, mapato yalikuwa duni duni kabisa but uh, tungependa kurudia kahawa ukulima wa kahawa na tunajua eh, tukipata soko direct ni kitu ambayo itasaidia watu wa Nyeri watu wa mkoa wa kati kwa jumla hata tuseme Mount Kenya region ambao inategemea kahawa kwa miaka mingi na ambayo imekuwa frustrated kwa miaka mingi tungepata direct tungependa kupata direct markets eh, ndio hasa tufanye quality ikuwe juu na vijana wetu wapate kazi waondoke kwa hii mambo ya pombe ya kumi kumi. Okay. asante sana. Natarajia kwamba viongozi wapya wamesikiza, wamekusikia asante. Na uh, tutazungumza baadaye wacha nimpatie ndugu mwingine fursa. Tueleze jina lako tafadhali na matarajio yako kwa viongozi wapya wa Nyeri. Mimi kwa jina langu naitwa Mbogo, ninafanya kazi na 2NK. Na yale matarajio niko nayo na kosa nimpongoze wa Haome Gakuru kwa sababu ameingia na ameshaguliwa na watu wengi sana wa Nyeri. Na kwa hivyo wako na matarajio kubwa kutoka kwake. Kwa hivyo sasa mimi ningependa nikataka kumwambia ni kwamba hii town haifanye 24 hours kama nataka ikuwe na nataka ilete mafanikio. Tena kuna hii sanda hii na kwaga dio main county, yani hii dia headquarter. Haitengeneza mahali ya, ya, ya kwamba itakuwa kama ukiangalia hii sasa tunasema kakare road wakati kama saa hii. Na kwaga very congested. Kwa hiyo sasa analeta mpangilio na harafu atengeneza ma drainage. Hii town ipanda maji na kwaga inatakaka kila mahali. Kwa hiyo tunataka sasa hata kama ni makabadi ya drainage na mpangilio mzuri wa town kama na kuru vile kwa town inakaanga. Sio ati watu kila mtu anataka kupanga anapanga hapa, mwingine anapanga hapa, gari kutaka kupanga unapaka mtu au kuwa na mpangilio mzuri. Tena akibia hapa General Hospital. Jana nilisikia anasema mzuri pesa yake itaenda karatina. Lakini ningemusi nige kama ingekuja hapa General Hospital agesaidia watu wengi kwa sababu dia dia headquarter ansi na headquarter wasa sub county awachane na sub county amza headquarter hiyo italete mwangaza mzuri kwa kina hata watu wengi watamkubalia asante sana mbogo tusikie sasa kutoka kwa dada jina lako ni nani tafadhali e, naitwa Margaret Dungu e, na mimi nataka ku congratulate uh, governor wetu ambaye ameshaguliwa na sasa nasi tuko na matarajio makubwa kwake kwa sababu haswa sisi akina mama tugetarajia sana sana tupewe mikopo tuweze kufanya biashara zetu na ajira kwa kina mama ambao wamehitimu wapewe ajira na pia mambo ya ya, ya agriculture pia agazie sana na tunataka usawa hata kwa wale ambao ni waremafu tunataka usawa na tuagariwe vizuri asante asante sana asante kwa maoni yako Naona dada anauza smoke hapa. Tukimalizia na wewe. Acha dikweda. Dokweda. Haya yeye atazungumza wakati mwingine. Asante sana mashirima ndio baadhi ya maoni kutoka kwa wenyeji hapa kile wanatarajia kwamba serikali ya Nyeri itawafanyia. Koko mashirima.
Na asante sana Karo Nderi hapo. Huyu mwanadada amekataa kuzungumza na umempatia fursa ya kuweza kutoa maoni yake. Lakini si neno, moja kwa moja tunakupeleka hadi katika kaunti ya Wasingishu ambapo mwanahabari wetu Elvis Kosgei yupo. Elvis Jackson Mandago anatarajiwa kuapishwa lini na wapi? Asante sana mashirima pale studio. Gavana wa kaunti ya Wasingishu Jackson Kiplaga Tmandago anatarajiwa kuapishwa tarehe moja siku ya Jumatatu kwenye hafla ambayo tayari amewataka wadau wanahusika hasa kutoka serikali ya kaunti ya Wasingishu kuweza kuifikia hafla hiyo na kuweza kuipamba kwa sherehe ya aina yake mbali na Wasingishu katika kaunti ya Nandi vile vile na kaunti ya Elgeyomarakwet hafla hizo tunataraji pia itaweza kungoananga tarehe na moja siku ya Jumatatu na cha msingi nikiweza kutaja kwamba katika kaunti ya Nandi tayari walikuwa wameka bajeti ya takriban milioni 14 lakini kwa mjibu wa gavana wa kaunti hiyo ameitaka uh, ile bajeti iweze kupunguzwa hadi shilingi milioni mbili pesa ambazo wanasema sasa zitaenda kwa labda ile huduma ambazo zinatolewa za afya hasa nikitaja maksusi ya kemsa vile vile katika kaunti ya Elgeyomarakwet kwa tunaona kwamba walikuwa wamekadiria bajeti ya milioni 15 lakini vile vile imepunguzwa hadi milioni mbili kwa zile uh, sababu ambazo wadau wanasema kwamba wanataka pesa hizo ziende kwa matumizi kadha wa kadha na ile labda naweza kuzungumza na wananchi hapa waweze kuniambia kwamba matarajio yao ni yapi kwamba tumeona kwamba kama uh, kaunti ya Wasingishu uh, afla ya kuapisha gavana wa sasa ni tarehe na moja. Tumeona kwamba kuna kaunti zimepunguza pesa na hapa bado hatujaambia mstakabali kama watapunguza watapunguza. Je, wewe kama mwananchi ungependa mambo yawe vipi? Ningependa mambo yawe sawa. Kwa majina kwa. Kwa majina naitwa Juliet. Mimi ni mkaji wa Wasingishu na nikaomba usalama ikuwe kila mahali. Eh hey. Ninazungumzia mambo ya bajeti kidogo naona kuna kaunti zimepunguza. Wewe kama mkazi pesa hizo zikipunguzwa ama pesa hizo zisalie vile vile na kama zitapunguzwa hizi pesa ziende kutumika kivipi? Siende kutumika mashure, fiakura, fiwete, kwa mama wajane, wenye ada wajisaidie. Mwaka kwaweze kujisaidia nayo. Naam. Wacha niweze kuzungumza na bwana anakuita nani ni bwana naona umevalia kidogo labda wa Kenya wakuone. Ehe. Kwa majina kamili naitwa Titus. Kim Arabagui mimi ni mkazi wa hapa Eldoret. Uh, kuhusu bajeti ya kuabisha gavana wetu eh, bwana Jackson Mandago. Uh, unapata kwamba kwa sasa hivi hatujajua kama itaweza kupunguzwa ama haitapunguzwa. Lakini matarajio yetu kama wakazi wa Wasingishu eh, ni kwamba eh, bajeti hiyo iweze kupunguzwa tu kidogo. Eh, unapata kwamba hapa Wasingishu kazi imefanyika sana kabisa eh, chini yake chini mam, ya mamlaka yake bwana gavana Jackson Mandago. Kwa hivyo matarajio yetu kama e, wakazi ama wananchi wa Wasingishu ni kwamba kila kitu itakuwa shwari na mambo yataenda sambamba kabisa. Wacha tuzungumze na wewe bwana anakuita nani? Naitwa Bernard Shaurei. Mimi ni mkaji wa Wasingishu County. It first first and uh, first and foremost I would like to congratulate for the governor for being elected. So concerning the budget actually we should have to streamline and we become responsible on what we are actually doing because we can't spend something that we cannot account for just for celebration. And actually we've given him the mandate to rule this county for five for the next five years. So there's no point we use a lot of millions for which we cannot account for just celebrations. So I am telling my honorable governor actually can he make sure that make sure that you are, you are you streamline you streamline actually your, the budget of that day to make sure that we actually become responsible because was in Gishu in the next five years needs a lot of things we, we could all we've got so many things that we have to do in the next five years so let just no celebrations that we are going to talk about let us mind about what we are going to do in the next five years not just celebrations thank you sa wacha nimsikie huyu mzee nasikia kijana amekohoa kweli okay asante sana kwanza ningependa kupongeza gavana wetu Jackson Mandago kwa kuchaguliwa mara nyingine tena na natarajia kwamba kama budget it a budget it's not a budget for for the celebration budget kipunguzwa sharti um, program zile zilikuwa zimeanza wakati ule siweze kuendelea lakini 
eh, kama ni budget ya kusherekea eh, eh, kuapishwa kwake kupunguzwa ni sawa lakini kama ni budget ya county tungatarajia tuna budget iende chuki kidogo kwa sababu kazi yake ile walifanya wakati ule ile tu, eh, ile tufurahisha na tunatarajia kwamba ataendelea kufanya hivyo wakati huu mwingine asante muda umetupa kisogo lakini wacha tumalize na wewe Thank you, thank you very much. First of all, I want to congratulate uh, His Excellency, the Governor of Wasingishu County, Honorable Mandago, for, you know, uh, 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 Wasingishu residents have elected him for the second uh, time. But what I want to say is this. We've seen in Andy County, the Governor-elect has actually said that the uh, budget for uh, swearing-in ceremony has to be reduced from 14 million to 2 million just because uh, he wants to see service delivery in Nandi. So we expect such to be done in Wasingishu County. We want to see His Excellency Mandago, you know, focusing so much in service delivery in all sectors. We know for the last five years, good things have been done. But we are also saying we still have our infrastructure that needs to be, you know, to be looked into. We also still have uh, uh, roads, as I've said. We have education sector, that is tertiary and, uh, and ECD levels. We also have health which is a very uh, critical aspect that we need to look at. We also have issues uh, to do with our youth who, look, who are looking for opportunities in terms of uh, employment and all that. Thank you very much. Nam, asate, mashirima mweza kusikia kutoka kwa baadhi ya wakazi na kwa kweli wengi wanataraji wana kwamba labda pesa zingine zingeza kupunguzwa ilieza kufaidi mambo kama mundo msingi, kuna barabara mambo ambayo yanafungamana na afya na baadhi ya mambo mengi ambayo yamekuwa yamegatuliwa kwa muda wa chini ya miaka mitano na kando na hii miaka mitano ambayo inakuja Mashirima Nama sana sana hivi sikusikia hapo kutoka kaunti ya Wasingishu. Uh, Suba Tati Muhammad Abdullahi tunazidi kuzungumzia uh, swala hili la uapishwa wa magavana. Uh,